Hey, I am back with putting some complaints first. So, since my last installment, Mika is now a thing. It's a new law for fintechs or cryptocurrency services providers, or virtual asset services providers. They have a lot of acronyms coming out in the space. Dust isn't settled yet. In the EU, European Union, and that's a big yay because it provides much needed regulatory clarity for the sector. Now, is it perfect? Nah, -uh. but it's a big step. It addresses a number of things, including the AML CFT concerns, you know, that anti-money laundering, counter financing of terrorism that I keep talking about in some of these videos. It addresses quite a few things in that regard. Now, there are other jurisdictions that still need to catch up. Do I need to point to the US? <sighs> and it seems as though the US is kind of finally getting the message. And no, I'm not even touching the presidential debates, but the U.S. SEC is still coming up against, uh, well, not even against the courts. The courts are finding the SEC wanting in relation to some of their actions against um, innovative companies. And I'll put some links in the description to this, but I think the tide is changing. And I think that as we go forward for the rest of 2024, we're going to see more jurisdictions embracing crypto regulation there's a lot to be said about stable coins um tokenization is the next big thing i have been talking about tokenization since literally before the pa can i say that word now that that thing we went through a few years ago that was global yeah i've been talking about tokenization from way back then but it's a lot to catch up on and i'll be here to give you some more content so definitely stay tuned and i will be back